Hey, welcome YouTubers. Welcome to my channel, Mr. Reef Buster. I'm your host, Monty. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing and a first impression on the Aquamax Magnus DC Pump 12,000. Now, this pump um, is created by Sun Pole. Um, this is a 12,000 DC water pump. Um, now, the reason I decided to purchase this pump because uh, currently as you guys may or may not know I have two tanks I have a 45 gallon reef tank on my first floor then I have my nano reef tank on my basement and currently my my water mixing station and my RO um, water creating sec uh, section is in my basement as uh, currently so what I've been doing until now is I have been carrying my water um, using a bucket upstairs whenever I had to do a water change or top off my ATO uh, re reservoir and it's, it's after a while it gets pretty annoying and it, it's not good for my back according to my doctor so I have to I had to purchase a pump now before I bought this I have been looking online um, to see if I can find an affordable pump that will meet my expectations the water the height uh, from my basement to my first floor is about 16 feet uh, give or take so I was looking for a pump um, that would give me about a head height about around 20 to 25 inches 20 to 25 feet and it's really hard to find um, a pump that's affordable um, and also you know gives you the max head height that you're looking for and something that's uh, versatile that you can use it for multiple functions so I went with this one and I'll tell you why because I wasn't I didn't want to do hard plumbing for this pump or whichever pump I got the reason I didn't want to do hard plumbing is because if you want to hard plumb first of all it's really hard difficult to hard plumb a pump when you're when you're using a brewed trash can to store your water uh, it's hard to hard plumb it and second is um, the pump I was gonna be getting whichever pump I got I was gonna be using it to pump up RO water and salt water as well so I needed something versatile and so I need a submersible pump um, and it's hard to find a strong submersible pump that'll give you about 20 anywhere between 20 to 25 uh, feet of head pressure so after a lot of research this is a fairly new pump we just came out from marine depot there i think they're the only one who's selling it um so if you're looking into it i'll leave a li link on the description so you can go to their website and purchase it now this pump there's three different versions of it aquamax uh, has three different pumps this one is the most the most powerful one this is a 12,000 dc um, it has a maximum head height of 21 feet is just around the ballpark of what i'm looking for priced at 2.99 a month it's not really expensive but it's not cheap either and i'll you know when i tell you the specs you're gonna see why and the other two versions there's another version with for 249 which is a 9000 dc and there's also a, a green pump uh, which is 6000 dc which is 199 once you go to their website you can take a look at the specs for those so really quick let's go over the specs of this pump right away so this is um the reason I got this pump, this is because it's submersible and you can use this externally as well. So if you, for those of you that are looking to do external, you can use it externally, you can use it internally, whichever you prefer. Um, it comes, uh, it does have a closed type impeller. Um, so we usually it's found on more expensive pumps. Uh, so this one can handle higher pressure application and you know, it all, another good thing is it comes with a controller, a uh, smart controller. Uh, it will allow you to adjust your water flow from 10% to 100% uh, with six different um, speeds. So that's another convenient. It also has a feed mode. Uh, it will give you a turn, turns off the pump for about 10 minutes during feeding. 
and the design is highly reliable uh, all the plastic component all the, um, the housing is very very strong and it's very quiet as well from according to what they have so I'm just gonna give you quick quick little specs so the d dimensions are 7 inches in length 5.1 inch in width and 6.4 inches in height the flow rate you'll be getting is 3170 gallons per hour which is about 12,000 liters per hour um, like I said the head max head pressure is 21 feet or 6.5 meters power consumption is about 150 watts the outlet is one and a quarter inch MPT or one inch slip inlet is going to be two inch MPT or one and a half inch slip so that's a quick little specs guys um, now when it comes to um, when it comes to the plumbing um, I had a little hard time getting the right plumbing supplies because uh, like I said in the beginning I, I don't want to do hard plumbing if you do hard plumbing it's easy to find PVC pipe for those specs and you can get it very easily readily available at Home Depot um, for it since I want to do I don't want to do hard plumbing I'm going with uh, vinyl a uh, vinyl tubing so and so if you know the outlet is one and a quarter inch that's the inside that should be the inside diameter that's the inside diameter of the little plug um, the outlet now if since I'll be using vinyl tubing I needed the out the inside diameter of the tubing to be a little bit more so one and a half inch is what I went with I found um, I couldn't find it in the store so I had to go to eBay and I found a seller who's selling uh, 25 feet by one and a half inch inside diameter vinyl tubing um, the pipe wasn't cheap either it was it almost cost me about 90 90 dollars to get that pipe uh, and it took about 15 days for them to ship it to me so the pipe came in earlier today so I will be setting this pump up right after this video and I'll do a follow-up video part two and show you guys what the pump you know might do my review on the pump see if it does what it, what I was expecting it to do so without further ado let's um, let's just open up the box and see what we get inside so keep in mind this is just an unboxing and first impression the review will be in part two to see if it does what I expected it to do um, so let's go ahead and unbox it and um, uh, see what we have okay so let me just bring the box a little closer so it's easy for me to open it up here we go let's see all right so the first thing you're going to get is an instruction booklet um, very uh, well designed and well very detailed all the specs and everything it, they tell you how to set it up what kind of flow you can expect how to do the plumbing and everything so everything is well written so let's put that aside and just open it up I already opened it up before so I'm just going to show you the contents um, so let's go ahead and see the first thing that we're going to be seeing is let's see what we got all right so the first thing you get is the part of the power brick um, the power converter uh, that comes with it so there's two parts so this is part one um, and it has a proprietary jack that goes into the the smart controller that it comes with um, so let's try to let's see if we can get a better view uh, it's a proprietary jack let me just just keep going and this is the part two of that power plug as you can see that part that goes into your outlet and right after that we have this is the smart controller now I really like this design of the smart controller um, very well built as you can see it's got a little waterproof thing don't care I'm gonna take my word for it, it might not be waterproof but you have the plus and minus you can ramp up the intensity and there's a feed button right there and a big power button in the middle and the bottom you can see the proprietary jacks so the jack on the right um, the female jack um, that's where you put in the male version of the power from the power brick goes in there and the male plug is where you're gonna plug in the pod, the the cord that's with the pump itself and you also get um, there you go the two slip uh, the slip rings the bigger one is the outlet the smaller is the inlet and then you get two little uh, rings and you get this little clip that you attach it on the back 
off your controller. This way you can hang it somewhere, nice and neat. Very nice design. So only thing left to do is take the pump out. I'm gonna, sorry, let me just take the box away so I can pull the pump out for you. It's quite heavy. All right, pull it out. Okay, and here is the pump, guys. I really like the whole design of it. Nice features, very solid built. Uh, the plastic is very durable plastic, so it can take a lot of pressure. Um, the, plaid, the build quality is really nice on this item. Uh, if you look closely, you can see the propellers inside. There you go. Very, very solid built. And that's so outlet and inlet as you can see um let's see from the side if you can see the writing let me just zoom in there you go i'll tell you all the details that you're looking for there we go really good zoom now okay so that's it guys um this is just a little unboxing and my first impression of this item once i hook it up and use it for a couple of days i will do a part two and give you a thumbs up or down on this product i mean my expectation is that it's gonna do its job uh 21 feet of head height you cannot go wrong with it 300 dollars, not too bad at all and the great thing is you know you can use it externally or you can use it internally submersible submersive you can do whichever you want and, and it comes with a smart controller you can adjust the water flow you want so I think um, you will not go wrong with this pump if you're looking for a strong pump. I will be using it to transfer water, uh, you know, fresh water and uh, RO water and also my salt water whenever I have to do a water change for both of my tanks. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to end the video. If you have any questions or comments, leave it in the comment section below. Um, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you can see future videos, guys. And that's it, guys. Thank you for watching and happy reefing, guys. Take care.